guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I have never been gone this long. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for everyone being like so understanding about it. If you guys really don't care about my life, y'all can skip right through this video. The sister that my, <laughs> the sister that my, the house that my sister bought does have like a studio in it with a separate kitchen. So I pretty much have my like own little studio with a kitchen. It's very spacious, so if you guys hear a lot of echo, I am sorry, y'all. The sound is not gonna stay like this. I will be purchasing a better mic because I know this one kind of low-key sucks. But anyways, I ended up painting all the walls. We are not done yet. I thought it would be super quick. I'm telling y'all, I, I really thought I would move in, paint the house in one day, not the house, the studio in one day, freaking film the next. And just a side of the whole move, I did get extremely sick. I don't wanna go to TMI on it but I got the stomach flu. I promise I will not ever go away for this long. I mean, I really hope not to, because you never know, I mean, anything could happen. But wow, honestly, I, I really never thought I would be gone for this long. But I'm back, you guys. I am ready to pop out videos left and right, you guys. For today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you could DIY your own hair choker y'all know chokers are kind of expensive honestly they are it's just a little strand for like 20 30 bucks that's ridiculous let me tell you guys how it all began anyway so brian was taking me pictures and like the wind was blowing when i was going through my pictures and i was like ready to start um uploading some on instagram i had like hair wrapped around my neck and i had to like really look at the picture and be like what the hell where did that choker pop out of i was like holy crap has anybody ever used their hair as a choker <laughs> This sounds like really stupid and I'm sure some people are gonna be like that is disgusting This is like a free choker y'all if you guys want to see how you could DIY your own free hair choker Then just keep on watching. All right, so this DIY is super simple I feel really we're doing like a DIY like that's Karina Garcia right there. Not me. We're gonna get started I don't have like a lot of hair if you guys have seen me without extensions like my hair I mean, it's like it's long, but it's very thin So I do have hair extensions right now to make my hair look fuller and Okay, let me show you guys my actual hair so y'all can get like an idea. This is my hair. I mean, I'm sure I could like create some kind of choker with it, but I want it to look a little bit more thick. This is what happens when you move and you throw your extensions in a box. I mean, girl, I, this needs to be brushed out. If you do have really short hair, you might want to use like a single extension. This is all brushed out. What I'm going to do is just clip it on the very bottom of my head. So I'm just going to clip it on the very bottom. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> I'm like low-key sweating. Okay, so I have have it clipped up on the bottom and this is why your hair has to be down if you have your hair up it's like everyone's gonna see your hair especially if you're gonna be using extensions girl you're gonna be fully exposed okay so I have my strand of hair I feel like this is a little bit thick so I'm just gonna grab half of it so I think with just an individual track you should be fine I have it from this corner so what I'm gonna do is actually take it from the other side all right so Oh, I'm like, I'm literally sweating. This is like a workout. So now that I have pulled my hair across, okay, I'm gonna take the hairspray and spray this hair down. Now that you got your hair all nice and coated, I'm just simply combing it out just because I'm not gonna do anything to it. So I really do want it to look nice and sleek on the neck. Make sure you really coat it with hairspray though because it will get everywhere. So I'm just gonna take that. Ooh. This looks good already. Once you get to the back, you're simply just going to bobby pin it. I'm gonna take about two bobby pins just to be secure. Go in there and fix the choker a little bit. All right, so first choker down. This is like the easiest one. This is probably the most difficult one though just because you have to put a lot of hairspray because it's really not stable. That's why I'm gonna show you guys how to do the braids because that one for sure is not gonna be like showing your hair moving around like crazy. This one you have to be a little bit more careful with all right so for this next one we're gonna do a braid this is the one that I'm excited about just because it's a lot more secure and it looks so cute especially right now for spring and summer oh my god I'm so excited <laughs> like it has a lot of hairspray right now so it's kind of hard for me to like braid it all 
I'm gonna coat it up with a lot of hairspray. I'm gonna take my fingers, go right over it, put this across your neck, and again, you just wanna pin it. So this stroker is all done. It's definitely less frizzy than the other one. It's a lot more neat. Also, what I think you could do is add like little charms while you're actually braiding it. That would look super duper cute. I did do mine thicker just because I feel like it's more noticeable and all. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna do this. I'm like shocked that anyone, I don't know if anyone has done it. Tag me on Instagram if you guys do anything like this. All right, you guys, so that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was a little bit different, but I had to show you guys because it's pretty much like a little hack. So let me know in the comments down below if you would try it, would you not? Let me know. Thank you for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.